This isn't your usual smash week. I'm finally able to react to more videos because I'm finally back home. Yes. <laughs> also, unfortunately, this won't be a double. Do you want to do a double reaction? No, you can take it off. You can take it off. It's been a while. <laughs> All right. Anyways, yeah, this ain't your usual leak speak from blog content. This is a YouTube link. Leak. Smash leak. Meaning, wait, wait, well, it's only about one thing. Sakurai, Sakurai's presentation video on Terry Bogard. Apparently, we very soon, we're, we're getting a confirmation of when possibly this presentation video is coming out. Because, like, you know, it's... <laughs> It can only be one of three things. A Nintendo Direct, a uh, a presentation, or both in one. I I think I was more more centered on the uh, presentation. Like just a presentation. But anyways, yeah. We're possibly this leak possibly conf possibly confirms when we're getting that presentation. So, well, we're do let's start it up. The Smash YouTube channel is up this week. So Terry might be coming sooner rather than later. Yo, wait, what? This week? That that's it. This week? This week? The the beginning? We're basically only a few days. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, literally Friday is the beginning of November. What do you mean this week? I mean, Banjo is early, but there's no way we're getting Terry that early. We still gotta recover from o from October's whole What's thing. Now yeah, Halloween, Welcome we still gotta recover from Halloween. Episode of Block Contents Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. YouTube and Super Smash Brothers. More interestingly, yes, the official Super Smash Brothers Ultimate YouTube channel has now uploaded something, or there's been some sort of movement on that channel now, and the news actually comes from a very reliable source, and we get to talk about that Terry might be dropping a little bit earlier than we thought. Of course, things like this have happened in the Honestly, I would have thought he would... He would release... Around the 15th, because we actually... Um, pre-ordered... The Incineroar Amiibo, that... Is supposedly going to... To come out in Terry's update. It said we got it on Amazon and it was Amazon Prime and it said it was coming on the 15th of November. Usually they release the amiibo around the time you know, they announce the release date. No, usually the re release date is when. when the update and the character release, that, that's when the amiibo also release. So, past, and we kind of know what to expect when timing like this happens, but I really wanted to focus in on this because it really mirrors what happened with Banjo and Kazooie, you know, a little bit of a month ago, and then of course it also mirrored what happened with some other fighters in Smash Brothers Ultimate and some leaked information that we got to know a little bit earlier than we were supposed to, thanks to some people digging a little bit deeper into some YouTube Smash Brothers stuff. So this kind of stuff always services, and I don't think there's anything you can really do about it. You can't really change the way that YouTube works. Here's something super special because a lot of you block buddies on Discord and here on the channel ask for it. We okay. Have Away, a piranha plant Doing that thing up. and that thing, so let's go on. All right, guys, let's head right on into this. This news 
actually comes from a very reliable source and also push dustin at twitter so he is at push dustin on twitter actually tweeted this out according to at omega j12 the smash brothers channel has been updated on youtube this could mean a new video has been uploaded even though it is not public yet what are you yeah that is a sort of thing because like no i i recorded my uh Vamo investigation videos very much so in I, I upload them in advance. I mean, it's like I put them on pre I put them on the playlist, and when they go up, well, at least for when you know we were investigating what happened last year. You know, I I made mo I made some of those. In the same day, and wanted to wait until the next day after to uh, upload them. So I, so I uploaded them, but I made them private so no one could watch them. So, so they could have made made it private or unlisted or something like that. For thoughts on this, and source shows you know three channels here, and then Super Smash Brothers and oh. Omega J Twelve. Google, Look at the picture, it has a Twitter, little says, blue light. Just want to bring mention to the fact that the Smash channel updated just enough. Looks like Terry could be the first week of November, after all. This is, of course, extremely fun because we get to theorize a little bit about what happens here, now. And yeah, this could definitely be a video that announces Terry is coming sooner. This could be the Sakurai... Actually, yeah, I guess <laughs> my whole thing about Sarah even though it doesn't really make sense since, you know, they could make the presentation and then and then have the announcement be a lot. And, you know, they could announce the resales a little bit later than like somewhat later than the uh presentation itself. So I guess it could still you know, it still would make sense, I guess. So I I don't think he would be the first week. Presentation I mean that that's reasonable. But you know, like I said, you know, the uh the updates and the character usually are released the same thing day as the amiibo that are set to come out Trailer for that update. Trailer the character, shows a little bit of its moves and, you know, all the ins and outs, tricks, the stage, all that kind of stuff. That's really what I think is going down here. I think this is the video where Sakurai will detail everything about that character. Of course, we have a lot of questions about Terry. We've only seen an idle animation. We've only seen one or two moves. And that's pretty much it for Terry. But there's no doubt in my mind, there's so much more to explore with this character. So I really wanted to dive into it a little bit deeper. Yeah, I think that if there's an update on the Smash channel, that means we are getting Terry sooner than we thought. These yeah. updates are always happening right before we actually get to see the video. So the way that these things work, it's super simple. You know, they basically finish a video and then just when they're just about ready to live stream this information, to do a Nintendo Direct, to do something that happens to be coinciding with the Smash Brothers news. So they might do a Nintendo Direct with all other information. You know, some launch trailer about Luigi's Mansion, some more information about upcoming games, right? And then add a tag for Super Smash Brothers as well. That's pretty much what they do all the time. And then they tag some Smash Brothers news at the end. And what was really cool in one of the previous Nintendo Directs was that they even did a huge Direct with lots of reveals, made fans super happy. And then at the end of that Direct, they even showed a lot more of Banjo-Kazooie. They just did yeah. that after the Nintendo Direct, which made Smash fans just super happy. Not only did we get a great gameplay look at the characters, not only did we get so much Nintendo news, but they also zoomed into the characters with Sakurai behind the controller. So there's a little behind the two controllers. The exact same way, just because they he is truly a god. On the channel right now, which basically means that it's his standalone Smash thing, right? There's no leaks or there's no information about a Nintendo Direct or anything like that. This is just about Smash Brothers. So what could be happening here is that Sakurai is a little bit ahead of the curve, right? That he's already showing some Super Smash Brothers news before there's any Nintendo Direct stuff to dive into. Of course, during this time of the year, probably it'll take a little while before we get another Nintendo Direct. Maybe yeah. before Christmas time or something like that. To Plus, I mean, that makes sense. That you know, it, it'd be really sued for another direct. I mean, 
we wish we got one in September. It it, it makes sense to wait quite a bit, of, a bit longer. Especially since, I mean, not many. There, there wouldn't really be much content. And it's since, you know, the Pokemon company has already done, like, live streams or not, or whatever, whoever is doing the whole thing of Sword and Shield, you know, putting out information. They've basically gone over everything they really need to for Luigi's Mansion 3. You know, the only... Like, actually, yeah, we always have a story trailer. We all, they've shown off uh, the Scare Scraper and the Screen Park modes and whatnot. Like, unless some new things are really, are coming, unex surprisingly, I mean, it doesn't really make any sense to have another Direct. I can guarantee we are not getting another Smash Brothers Direct. Advertise those titles. The most I don't know if any, what, anything I said makes sense. Standalone thing, right? So Made the most sense. obvious thing would be that it's the Terry revealed trailer, that it's the Terry, you know, gameplay live stream, if we can really call it that. It's Presentation. Live stream, but it's kind of a pre-recorded thing where Sakurai is kind of playing around with the character, showing us everything that Terry can do, the stage, maybe even spirit stuff. And maybe that update will even come with new game modes. Now, of course, Sakurai said that the home run contest is pretty much the last game mode. And of course, we also zoom in on those words, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Is it the last game mode or is it not? So be <laughs> honest, Sakurai. Is yeah. But there's also the fact that, I mean, I mean, they could enhance other game modes. I had, I had this thought myself, like... Like, we've seen it with the Mii Fighters, you know, they updated how the Mii Fighters and shared content work to make us be able to edit their movesets and whatnot. So, they could also make it so, they could do other stuff, like make it so that stages we got Stage Builder are able to be edited, like we can edit those stages ourselves. Like, ju just thinking, just thinking. There's something more coming. Of course, we've already thought about things like maybe there's an online play of something like Squad Strike, right? That could really make a lot of fans happy. There's maybe private tournaments that they can still do. And, of course, people have been wondering where is a game mode like Smash Run and will there ever be a boss rush mode? Oh, my goodness. You, you stop talking at my heartstrings with Smash Run. Terry, there will be another game mode attached to it maybe a smaller one maybe you know this game mode now goes online or this game mode is now multiplayer that'd be always super yeah like, well, but i do think that with every single fighter in this no, up the, class, uh, we are one. getting music we're getting a stage we're getting a fighter we're getting a spirit board and we're also getting some game mode content right we've had that for every single fighter it's been incredible to see smash brothers ultimate grow into an even better package right i said right on top of launch i said yeah there's really not that much difference in the ways you play smash brothers ultimate at this point right it's just battles against cpu or online yeah. battles and that's pretty much it you know the spirit battles the world of light thing everything kind of felt the same but now literally everything is just either Small snippets of online multiplayer, and literally everything else is single player, unless you're playing stuff local. Like, who knows? They could even make World of Light, they can make their single player mode also multiplayer. You know, you can play it with one person or multiple. I mean, they did that with Spirit Board, and Spirit Board is basically... World of Light on a much, much smaller scale. With the stage builder, with home run contest, with all that great content, we get a game that feels a lot more ultimate than it did at the start. And with all these crazy cool side characters that we're getting, with all the DLC, I'm just extremely happy that this seems to be coming out really soon. Now, Terry, to me, seems like an early November character, right? I think that they're going to pull the same thing that they did with Banjo. I've said this before in a video, but I really feel like Terry will release in the first week of November. 
Now, I don't think that that will mean the character will launch on the Friday, the 1st of November, or the Saturday, the 2nd, but I do think the week of the, you know, 3rd of November, the 5th of November, I think that it, Terry might launch on the 8th. Yeah, I, 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 like I said, I personally believe it's more around the 13th or 13th to, like, you know, the 14th, like, what, 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 what's the weeks? What, what's the weeks? Like did I? Yeah, like like the third week. I I say third week just because it has the thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth. You know, one week suggested that he was coming out about the thirteenth, and there's also the fact that the Incineroar amiibo and possibly whatever other amiibo is coming along with it, you no, know, are coming out around the fifteenth. And usually they release the update. As, along with releasing the update, they also release the amiibo. Or the 9th, so the Friday or the Saturday of November. Why do I think that? Well, it's super simple. I think that that's the weekend that people will be, you know, spending a lot of time playing Smash Brothers. I think the other times are a little bit too early. I don't think it'll be like end October or something like that, or the 1st or 2nd of November. I do think the first week of November makes a lot of sense. And for them to already have put up this trailer, this, you know, extended look at Terry, because that's really the only thing that this video could be, right? I think that that's yeah. definitely what we're going for here. So theorize all you want about the Smash Brothers content that could be coming to Ultimate, but I do think that this Terry reveal thing could actually have a hint to who the fifth fighter is. I don't think they'll go as far hmm. as to show a big chunk of gameplay for the character, but Sakurai has been very sneaky in the past, and he always sneaks in a little bit more a look at the future if he shows the content that is coming right now. So if we're getting Terry in the first week of November, the odds are pretty, pretty high that we are going to be seeing who the fifth fighter's past character is. I mean, that's just kind of characteristically Sakurai, right? To me, it feels like we need at least a hint. So the idea that we could be seeing the sword of Ninja Gaiden's Ryu Hayabusa or some box from Crash Bandicoot or maybe another character jumping in. Of course, we've heard news yeah. that Hayabusa and Crash might not be coming and that it might instead be a character from the Toho series or someone crazy. You know, I don't really know where they're going with the Fighters Pass, and I'm really excited to find out who the fifth... They, they gotta make it a big one. Will be ...to kind of close out the very first Fighters Pass. But Unless they pull a thing, they pull a whole thing on us, and the next fighter isn't the fifth Fighter Pass character, and instead it's one of the other additional DLC fighters... And no, they're saving the fifth one, the fifth DLC fighter for the Fighters Pass. You know, until the very last, because it's going to be the biggest. I don't know. I, I don't think they do that, but still. So. What they're going to do beyond that? Just is thinking. It another Fighters Pass? Is it just random character drops? Is Please it, make it you know, Fighters Pass. That? Is it just one bonus fighter? There's a multitude of ways that Sakurai could go about doing it, and they all pretty much leave me excited. So just the idea that the Smash Brothers hype train is just about gearing up again, and that we're getting more information about Terry and the release might be very, very soon. Well, we're going to live stream a lot of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and play Terry against you guys live. And so I am definitely going to be playing it myself, think that this is the Terry going for the classic mode. Because it really like, when Hero dropped... The first thing I did, you know, I was in Jamaica for that, uh, for when Hero had dropped. And the day he dropped, the night he dropped, in fact, because it was really late at night. It was like between 9 and 10.30 ish, I believe. Something like that. And the first, well, it wasn't the first thing I did. It was essentially the first sort of gameplay I did. Actually, no, it wasn't. No, first I went to training mode and see, see just how busted he is. My goodness. Then I played a few small matches, and and then basically the the first big thing I did with him was, you know, classic mode. 
I stayed up till midnight. And I got 9.9. .9. I stayed up till midnight. I am determined to get every DLC fire to what, get 9.9 .9 with every DLC fire. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it properly. My, my best is 9.8. But anyways, back, back, back on topic. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be really early. I think the presentation is just going to be early. But I think he's going to be released, you know, in like around the third week. The, the middle only because of you know that's when my Incineroar amiibo is coming considering I pre-ordered it but may maybe that has nothing to do with the release actually no 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 it does it does it absolutely does because on the on the no, on Nintendo's amiibo website even says that, you know, the 15th is when Incineroar's Amiibo is releasing. So, yeah, it only makes sense. I mean, the me, the Amiibo that, that were, that came out, came out at release, were released with the release of Smash Ultimate. The Amiibo that came with Joker were released as he was being released the same day or at least the next day I, I don't really know exactly same with a hero and then Pichu snake and I believe Ivysaur that came out around actually no did Pichu come out before or after after Banjo. I can't remember. But anyways, the, the Amiibo, they came out when, with Banjo's update. You know, came out basically the same time as Banjo. So, so with the fact that Incineroar's Amiibo and whatever other Amiibo are set to release with Incineroar's, you know, with the fact that they're coming out on the 15th, I, I'd say it, Terry is coming out about the beginning of the third week. Yeah, the, it is confirmed that we are definitely getting the presentation or whatever soon, though. A absolutely, that 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 league basically confirms. I I feel.